Take your place Oh yeah, you could actually hear me shit. <laughs> Wait, what did I say in the last three minutes? Hopefully it's nothing uh, incriminating. Max, do you have a link to this music you're playing? I don't have a link right on me, but it's the song is called End of Small Sanctuary. Uh, it's from the game that we're playing, which is uh, perfectly... Uh, no, not ironic. Harmonious, isn't it? Because this is the main music that I usually play whenever I stream, right? Whenever I start any stream. Hey, guys. Uh... Well, I know I didn't fart. <laughs> hey, thanks, Bacchus. Uh, what, which uh, videos have you been watching? You mostly just heard grunts? Okay. I suppose. <laughs> yeah, just give me a second, guys. I'm just uh, sipping on this apple cider real quick. <sighs> hey, Jordan. Good to see you here, man. And you made it for uh, a Silent Hill stream. Yeah, I, uh, I'm doing this because I put out a video on Wednesday, but I took it down after an hour because um, I wasn't particularly happy with it. And people in the comment section felt I could have done a little bit better. So, uh, to compensate for the lack of a video, I decided to do a stream. And I figured, you know, I put Silent Hill as an option because I know you guys enjoy um, me whenever I talk or do anything with Silent Hill. And I put that as an option in this poll that I posted on the community page. And naturally, it got the most votes. So we're going to play it here. Hey, Max Derrett, this may be miles ahead, but what did you think of Silent Hill 4? It's often referred to as an unorthodox take of the series. Um, I don't think it's an unorthodox take. I think it's okay. Um, like, sorry, no, I, I actually don't like Silent Hill 4 that much. Uh, you know, more power to you if you enjoy it, but... Even though I had a lot of really cool concepts and like lore building, I uh, I just found playing it boring. But I know there are people that live and die by that game. But yeah, when it comes to Silent Hill for me, it's always the first three. 
Right now it is, I have no mouth and I must scream near MGS2 boss. Best girl. <laughs> Uh, JVP stuff, but the most brutal one was your experience in Asperger's Street. Oh, yeah. Dude, thank you so much for watching all those videos. And I hope that the ones that, like the Asperger one, if you happen to be on the spectrum, was able to provide you with some clarity and, and help. No, you're not late, Sacred Pain. We're just about to start. DMT Infinity says, you should also make more analysis videos of tools and music. I'd like to, um, if I were to do another one, I would do it on the entirety of the Lateralis album, but because, you know, it takes me long enough to do the Tool videos as it is, doing an entire album would be pretty daunting and I need more time and I just don't have enough of that right now. Hey Max, what happened to Devotion Part 2? There wasn't a Part 2, I finished the game in that one stream. I hope that Hellblade 2 will be better than the first one. It'd be hard to top though. Because the first one was damn good. 163 viewers? That's what I'm talking about. But only 92 likes. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> and Anub... I'll, this will be the last comment that I read before we start. Uh, Anubis says, Hey, Max Jared, how are you doing today? I'm, I'm doing good, dude. I'm good. Uh, managed to finish the script for my new video uh, yesterday. Uh, was marking it up with uh, all the graphics that I need so that I can um, edit it together tomorrow. And hopefully I'll have it up for you guys at the end of the day on Monday. And if not, definitely Tuesday, I promise. Oh, and just one other quick one. Maximiliano Rosales says, Hey Max, are you planning on playing Silent Hill 2? Already did, dude. If you uh, scroll back enough in my uh, videos, You'll see that I played Silent Hill 2. Uh, there are two parts of it, and I played it on the PC with Reinstall Paul. All right, that's enough of that. Let's get down to business. And as I'm setting this up, I just want to give a quick thank you to my my uh, my friend Eliza, who does all the art for my channel. She did this mock-up of me as Heather. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it so much. Don't I look beautiful? You know, when my hair actually grows out long enough like that, I kind of actually have that haircut a little bit. Just not as, you know, Final Fantasy-ish. Not like Titus or Titus or whatever the hell's name is from Final Fantasy X. All right, so let's start this shit. So, full disclosure, I am using an emulator. As you can hear, you hear that uh, PS2 OG intro right there. And let me take down this thumbnail. There we go. Yeah, I uh, figured this would be the easiest way to do it. And the prettiest. Get another sip. How are you guys doing? How's, uh, what are you guys doing this weekend? Are you playing Nier? Uh, I played about an hour and a half of Nier yesterday. Uh, it's the first time I ever played it. it. Seems pretty cool so far. Uh, haven't had time to play it today. Hey, UCD Jordan sends in that. I don't know what currency that is, but I appreciate it. He says, "Huge fan, buddy. Your amazing videos have inspired me to start making longer videos myself. I'm going to watch this whole thing." Thanks, dog. Uh, yeah. Um, speaking of the whole thing, I will just say that it's probably we're gonna go until about 6:30 my time, so that'll be about three hours because then I'll have to go for dinner. Uh, action level, yeah, let's just do normal. We're balling, but we're not balling that hard. 200 live viewers, hell yeah! And uh, Bacchus says, thanks for the Ion series, really. No, thank you for watching it, dude. And uh, speaking of Jungian series, I have been working on a new one. It's just taken me a bit. Stay tuned, it'll be out soon. Let me know if there are any um, any visual or auditory problems, guys, so I can fix them, okay? Are you going to be doing the sewer fairy stuff? Uh, no. Um, full, uh, another thing that I'd like to tell you guys right now. I don't know Silent Hill 3 inside and out like I know Silent Hill 2. Um, I know 
like the basic locations and the puzzles. Like I know the first one, it's like the Shakespeare thing that everybody has problems with. Um, you know, we go back to the hospital, we go to the subway and all that. But like, I don't know exactly where to go. So we might be stumbling around a little bit, but we're just having fun. We're just hanging out. Okay. Uh, it's from Denmark. Okay. Thanks, Cindy. Yeah, I've played it before, and I played it uh, through twice on the uh, PS2. He'll OD on young one of these days, Max. Yeah, kinda. All right. So I made sure right before we started that. Wait. I I switched it to two D controls, right? One sec. Yeah, yeah. You growl all you want, Mister Man. Or whatever the hell you are. Yeah, 2D type. Okay, we're good. So, the first thing you gotta do is just start juking these things out. I mean, it doesn't really matter if you die at this point in the game. Jesus. <laughs> My headphones are going buck wild right now. Nope. No! 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 Wrong way! Okay, let me just... Whew. Pause for a second. That triggered my autism a little bit. Uh, uh, yeah, the the headphones were really loud and uh, it wasn't allowing me through the door. Hi, Max. I'm a huge fan of yours. Love your content. I'm always excited whenever I see a notification. From you. Thanks, Gatsu. And uh, expect to see a notification from me either on Monday or Tuesday when I put out a video on Final Fantasy X. Okay, back to business. So, like I said, it doesn't really matter if you d live or die, but it's just... You know. Just because I like to be thorough, I want to see if we can address as much of the game as possible, and that includes the beginning. And I forgot how crappy the controls were. Oh no! Kucho, no! Ugh. Leave me alone! The puzzles are insane in hard mode in SH3, especially in the French translation. Oh yeah? I've been actually uh, trying to improve my French lately. I got a lady who runs, helps run my Discord, um, help me out. She'll probably show up. Her name's Calypso. She's usually here at some point. Okay. Ooh, totally great idea. I'm running on train tra No! Running on uh, tracks in Silent Hill. And I hope a ghost train doesn't come out of nowhere and own me. Yeah, so everything looks okay, guys? Alright. <laughs> Live, Max. Survive! Uh, Maurizio is saying that it's dark. Um, is it dark, guys? Let me know so I can up the brightness. <laughs> she got owned. And, uh, no, I haven't played Sek Sekiro yet, but um, as soon as it goes on sale on PC, I am getting it. Right now, I'm going to try and focus on Near Replicant. <laughs> Is it legal for mods to super chat? Nick, you are the fucking man. You are the man. Don't you ever forget that. I love you. And M. Dot Monarch sends in... I do not know what that denomination is, but I'm so glad we're getting such a diversity of them. It just says, oh, uh, oh. Is that like, ooh, ooh? Hey, guys, you can... Simp the shit out of me, I don't care. Okay, I'll I'll just bring up the brightness, like one or two points. We'll see how that is. Just as soon as we get out of the cutscene. Ooh, I fucking love you guys, Bradley. Here's five bucks, I love your content, keep it up. Thanks, man, I intend to keep it up. So yeah, Final Fantasy X... I'll be doing a video on that beginning of next week, and then I'm hoping to... Oh, oh. Here's the jam, guys. Let's all engage in a collective uh, hushing in reverence of the music. Yeah. Sorry I didn't call sooner. Yeah, I guess I was. 
Anyway, I'm coming home now. Oh, I didn't get that thing you asked me to. That was the thing. Okay. <laughs> okay From I Chile? Like nice. Gracias. Yeah, this ain't sketchy at all. Heather, I need to speak with you. My name is Douglas Carter. I'm a detective. A detective? Really? Well, nice talking to you. Please don't open up that trench coat and flash me. Oh, wait. It's already open. Never mind. I fucked that up. Hold on. There's someone that wants to meet you. Joji, she's 17, man. An hour. No, half an hour of your time. My daddy always told me not to talk to strangers. This is very important. It's about your birth. That you're the I'm only content creator there. <laughs> Mega Autis. <laughs> I love that name. By the way, thanks a lot for your content, Max. I think that you're the only content creator out there who talks about mental illnesses without making a pity party law. And that's my intention. Are you still following me? Do I have to scream? Sorry. I'll wait. He's just gonna wait for you outside the bathroom. Okay. Yeah, I when I do the mental health stuff, the most important thing is that I don't turn it into a pity party. Uh, what do I know it from? Where did I see, once see it? And why does my head hurt so much when I try to remember it? Ooh, that red square. Hey. Hey, Max, would you ever consider doing a Gran Turismo 4 stream or any of the older Gran Turismo games? I don't know if Gran Turismo is your cup of tea or if you like it. I've, I'm honestly not into racing games, dude. Uh, like I think the last time I played a racing game was uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted on the Xbox 360. <laughs> game Echo says, Hi Max, I just want to ask if you ever come across with Xenogears. I just want to know what you think about that game. I know the game. People have been recommending the shit out of it to me. Uh, now how do I get out of here? Leave. There. Um, and I recently bought it on the PS3 when uh, Sony originally said that they were going to be taking the PS3 store offline. So I have it, and uh, I intend to play it very soon. Alexia says, sends in $5 saying you're number one. Aw. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thank you very much. You could be my number two. You know, you could have the eye patch. Okay. So, yeah, we don't have a map of this area yet, so let's just... Run down the hall. Oh, right, the uh, brightness. My bad. Um, let's see, brightness level. Let's just put it right there. Yes, change the settings. What? Oh yeah, and it does that thing up in top left. Is this okay, guys? Is that too bright? Max, do you listen to metal? If yes, who do you usually listen to? I listen to some metal, mainly just the standards like Black Sabbath, Iron Maiden, uh, Megadeth, Judas Priest, Tool, obviously. I I've heard of Pathologic, dude. It's on my list of games to get to. Yes, I am going to play Village Ludens. Ugh. What's up, vagina face? Shot it in the vagina face. Oh god, I love you guys. Thank you so much for the super chats. What the hell is this thing? 
that's uh, what happens when you get the UK variant, uh, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mike Key sends in $5 Canadian. What's up, fellow Canadian? Uh, what was I about to say? Oh, yeah, beavers, maple syrup, and uh, Canadian geese. To you, my friend. Uh, hey, Max, super huge fan of your content. I love your videos. You're the best. I love Metal Gear and Silent Hill so much. So much support. Well, not as much as I do, but I'm glad to find somebody else that uh, loves it as well. Got handgun bullets. It's not that I hate clubs, but this isn't the time or place. I don't know. It's okay to be Stalin during the apocalypse. Oh, and a uh, fun fact, uh, just in case you guys don't know, this uh, God, f fucking camera, this body on the ground... The model that they use i it's a lot harder than it looks guys trust me fine i'll just peer over it from here that body is the body of angela from silent hill 2. now we it's it's generally understood that it's not actually angela it's just the model but we're not supposed to notice that okay so yeah it's definitely not human i never heard of such a, you think that's an animal Where does Silent Hill pl take place? In Maine, right? Or just, like, Upper Eastern America? Uh, hold on. <clears throat> ba uh, Bacchus sends in $5. Do you think there's anything interesting behind the Mist Game series? Brightness is perfect now. Okay, good. Um, I, I know Mist. I've never... Uh, played it i'm not really that into um point and click games for the most part i i went through i have no mouth and i'm a screen and i didn't really care for it like the gameplay i mean and that sort of ruined it for me but i'm sure like i watched somebody play mist and you know it's an important part of gaming history i'll probably get to it at some point no no i hear you no no those things that look like walking sperm, I don't want it. Uh, oh yeah, we gotta check the doors, don't we? Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm good, thank you. Yeah, I, I think you're right, I think it is ambiguous. Um, Alright, so we just gotta do the thing where we check all the doors. Okay. Now you're speaking my language. Uh, yeah, we now I remember we got to get the tongs to get that because Heather's hands are so fat that she can't reach be beneath that fucking uh, what's it called pallet skid skid. That's what it is. Uh, yeah, let's just say real quick. Silent Hill Three is probably my favorite, although I understand the second one is awesome. Yeah, there are people that prefer Silent Hill Three overall. I understand. You could say it's the most refined. Oh, we're killing the dog. Anything that bites me, I don't care how cute it is, is gonna die. Uh, nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. So, how many bullets do we have? Uh, weapons. Reload. Yeah. And... The Amazon supplies. Okay, so we got 22 bullets. Uh, we are gonna juke Mr. Walking Sperm here. Uh, get the fuck out of the way. Uh, and then what room was... Okay, the dog in. Right, so we're gonna have to go kill a dog. Say goodnight, Poochie. That's what I'm talking about. And then you gotta... No! Don't waste bullets, you moron. <sighs> Wait. Sorry, old school controls. Bear with me. Reload. Unequip for a second. Oh, no, wait. No, no, no. We know it's dead because the blood's coming out of it. So why am I unequipping it? Okay. I'm calling PETA. Man, well, PETA PETA's not going to be able to do a goddamn thing. Their jurisdiction doesn't uh, extend to digital animals. Uh, sorry, map. 
Right, so we'll just uh, check the doors on the right. Come on, camera. No, no. No, I, I, don't, I don't want you to fertilize me. Not today. I'm not legal. Ugh. Even though people in my chat probably think she is. Uh, nope. Okay. We are outro. And then we get to see more of those uh, vagina face things. We have hands that look like shopping bags just grafted onto them. Uh, it's locked. Right, so we gotta get the key for that so we can do the Shakespeare puzzle. I do remember that. Beta Flora says, is this the PC version? No, it's a PCSX2 emulator. Uh, the closer monsters may be a manifestation of Lessa Gillespie's memories of her mother's abuse. Yeah, it's pretty messed up. There are no employees around. I wonder where they all went. Well, they probably saw all the monsters and GTFO'd out of there. Ever think about that? No, probably not, because she's a dumbass teenager. There we go. All right. Now we gotta go get that righteous ass key. Hey, how's it going? Buy anything nice today? No. Uh, so we gotta use the key right to get in there. Everything about this game is the katana. Yeah, I never played it enough to get like all the extra stuff, like the outfits and the. Uh... Wait, no, don't take a sip of the apple cider yet. Ow! No! I didn't bring my my BC today. Um. Yeah, so we exited this stairwell, so we just gotta go back to where the key is, which is yeah. I think Heather is 17, if I'm not mistaken. Although, if you want to be technical about it, because, you know, she is the reincarnation of Alessa. She's probably, like, in her 30s. Wait, no, it's not in here. Um, wait, is it? No. No, it's in the other room. Mm, it's... Yeah, that one with the save point. Okay. Did anybody else hear that? Did, did anybody else hear like really bassy footsteps? Something's falling between the table and the floor. I think it might be a key. If my arms were a little longer, I might be able to reach it. Why don't you just get on your fucking knees? All right. Get the tong. No. Get the tongs. Wait, I... Oh, it's not under... Okay, fine, whatever. And now I'll get the sip, my sip on. Hey, man, I don't care if it's in Silent Hill. If I'm hungry, I'll eat whatever. I got the key taken with tongs. So that opens the, uh, the bookstore, right? Don't you... Oh, no, there's two. No, there's three. Uh, man, they really want to get me prego. No, I, I want to go to school first. I want to have a career. Hi, rival. <laughs> Short ass arms. Just got those T Rex arms. The T Rex was the most fearsome predator. Um,. Right now, so it's get away from me. I don't want it. No! Okay, so then we. Okay. No, not that one. Use that. Get your ass in there. Cool. If I'm the reincarnation of someone that I still had to go through the psychological phases of youth, does my age start from the previous dude's age? It's a good question. I'm not about to provide an answer to that because then otherwise people will just be bitching at each other in the comments. Uh. But then, because I just said that, uh, people are going to probably do it anyway. Uh, none of the books are very interesting, just the kind that I can buy anywhere. It's fucking Shakespeare. What the hell are you talking about? All right. Now, if I recall correctly, it's 24513, right? 
So I just line up the books I picked up off the floor. Yeah, you think? And we gotta place them individually because, you know, this game came out in... <sighs> fucking... Uh, 2003. Um, and then use. Wait, what? Oh, do I? Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay. Uh, combine two, one, five, four, three. I, what? Oh. Two, one. Why, why can't I place the shit? What am I doing wrong? Uh, do I have to... Wait, put them in order first and then? Because I can't remember what I'm supposed to do. Wait, no. Can somebody remember, remind me what the hell I'm supposed to do? Um, like, to get these books on the shelf? I know what order they're supposed to go on. But, um... Two. Well, let's just do the first. So two, one, five. No, it doesn't. You got to use them one by one. Well, I, I tried doing that, but it's not letting me do it. So. Oh, really? Where on the. No. So two, one, cinq, quatre, et trois. That's right. That's it, right? Order them left to right. Yeah, it's two, one, five, four, three. Oh, no, two, four, Y, five, one, three. My bad. I fucked it up. Um... My bad. Which book will you take? Uh, get those out. Okay, four goes here, and one goes here. Right? Uh, hey, thanks, Carla. Um, I did that right, didn't I? Two, four, five, one, three. Uh, yeah, I see the numbers on the book, but, oh, I, I got it, I got it, my bad, I, I remember, I'm sorry, um, so, yeah, so one, sorry, one goes here, four goes in the front, Wait. Wait, where's four? So four, no. I'm so confused. I can't, I thought it was two, four, five, one, three. Yeah, I know the written numbers on the books. Does anybody... Okay, can somebody just tell me what this is? Because I know everybody has a problem with this fucking puzzle. And clearly I'm having it right now. Uh, I'll look it up. <laughs> Try 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, right. No, it's it's not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, though. Like, I'll just do it while other people are... Bringing it up. See? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Max, did you play SH3 before? Yeah, I have. I played it twice. I just... Um, like, I don't remember it inside and out like I do... Um, like I do Silent Hill 2. God, it's hot in here. 
Uh, starts with three. Start with the first half of three. Okay. No, it's not that. Hold on, let me get the chat. Three, five, two, four, one. Thank you. No, no, that's my bad. Three, five, then two, four, one. <sighs> that was pretty stupid. So nine, three, four, two. I'll just write that down. Okie dokie. Sorry about that, guys. Now, uh, now that we got that, is there anything else up in here? Yes, bullets. My favorite. Uh, okay, so put in the input the damn code. Yeah, the fucking, that puzzle sucks. It's notoriously, like, everybody hates that puzzle. It's like the puzzle, the piano puzzle from Silent Hill 1. Okay. Can I take a sip? Is there going to be monsters in here? Well, a certain kind of monster. Um, hey, wait. What's going on? Where is everybody? Those weird monsters? They have come to witness the beginning. The rebirth of paradise. Despoiled by mankind. What are you talking about? <laughs> Don't you know? Your power is needed. How should I know? I am Claudia. So what? Remember me. And your true self as well. Also, that which you must become. The one who will lead us to paradise with blood-stained hands. Claudia, right? Did you do all this? It was the hand of God. Wait! Just take some Tylenol, shit. Uh, who is the one? I don't get it. What does she want me to remember? <sighs> to eat your vegetables. Um, just two quick things very quickly. First of all, thank you so much to everybody who put this stream over 205 or 200 likes. Thank you so much. We're now at 205. Uh, please make sure that you hit the like button if you haven't already. It tells the YouTube algorithm that not only this stream, but all the other videos on my channel are worth watching. It passes them around, puts them in people's recommended feeds, and when that happens, it obviously helps me out. So please hit that like button if you haven't already. You guys are already doing a good job of that anyways. Uh, and then second of all, Stan Vladimir, you're absolutely right. I want everybody who's watching this right now to write in the live chat, hashtag fuck Konami. Never forget. Never, anytime I play a Konami game, I want everybody to do that. Fuck Konami. And why, just in case you somehow don't know why we say fuck Konami, it's because of them. Wait, no, this is where we came from. It's because of them that the Silent Hill and Metal Gear Solid and Castlevania franchises are dead. And Contra. Now, maybe those rumors are true that Silent Hill, well, I mean, okay, let's step back for a second. It's kind of hard to think with all this uh, mystic music going on. So I think it was either yesterday or the day before. There was uh, two pieces of information. Oh, I thought we crashed. Um, thank you. See, God bless you. Live chat, you guys are doing awesome. <coughs> so a couple days ago, um, there were two pieces of info. On the one hand, 
Well, let's just wait. To let this play very quickly. Okay. Now we're in the autre world, as the French would say. Or a l'autre monde. No, Gulthrax. I have more fun yanking the individual hairs out of my body than I do playing pachinko machines or mobile games. That That's no hate to those who play mobile games, by the way, but it is hate towards those who play pachinko. Valtiel, what's going on, dog? Not even a kid could believe in this. Well, believe it, baby. But when am I going to back up? Two hundred and sixty viewers. That's what I'm talking about. Um, okay, so two. Well, let's get away from danger. Uh. Let's find a safe door first, and then I'll explain what I was trying to explain. Uh, I need a light. Okay, we're good. So two rumors. Um, so David Hayter, the guy who voices Solid Snake in Metal Gear Solid, he was on a podcast uh, a couple of uh, days ago. And the guy that was interviewing him said something to the effect of, uh, Hey, uh, do you think that the game will be remade? Or are the rumors about the remake true or something? And he said, up until this point, he honestly didn't know. But he got a call from apparently an insider that he has. And he said that, yes, there is some sort of Metal Gear remake in the works. And then, I literally think the same day, uh, ACG... Um, you know, Carrick uh, from ACG, the YouTube channel. He was doing a podcast, and he echoed... Well, he didn't directly respond to what David Hayter said, and that's where I literally just came from. He didn't respond to what David Hayter said, but he also said that, yeah, it seems like there's something in the works regarding Metal Gear. Now, it might either be a remake, or... I don't know what you guys are munching on, but just keep doing it. I, I'm too bony. You won't like. Me. Well, no, they, they would like me because dogs like bones. Um, and Carrick said something like, "They're either doing the remake, or they're looking to like get, like loan out the rights so another company can do it." And then what? Konami would just benefit off of the residuals because they'd be the ones publishing it. Now look, that's it's an unfortunate situation. I don't want Konami to get any money, but they're the owners of the franchises, and uh, if that's what we have to do to get a new game, then I'll accept it. And I'd be happy with a... Uh... Did I miss any doors down there? Yeah, I did. Um, let's go back. Wait, no. There we go. Don't... No! I don't want it. I don't want what you're selling. No! Uh, okay, we need a plan. Turn left and keep going. Okay. I like that plan. So that's cool. And hopefully, um, there are rumors that it might be the guys that did the medium. Um, you know, the game that came out recently, the medium, as done by Bloober Team. They're the guys that did Layers of Fear that might be getting the rights to Silent Hill to produce their own version of the game. That might be wrong, though. I'm not sure. Either way, if I if there can be more, there's literally nothing back here. Shit. I came here for no reason. If we can get more games in the Metal Gear Solid or Silent Hill franchises, that not only makes me happy as a fan, but as a YouTuber because it gives me more stuff to make content about. You guys like like it when I do videos on those games. So, win-win for everybody. So we weren't supposed to come back here. Yeah, just, just keep eating your dog nip. Whatever the fuck. No! No! Oh, shit. No. No, I don't want to see what you have in your bag, sir. Um, or ma'am. I, I don't know. Gender nonconformist Silent Hill monster. Uh, 
Oh, I thought there was like a, a health drink. No, can't go in there. No, don't do it twice. See ya, Aaron. <sighs> I was cuckoo for po Cocoa Puffs. Sorry, what does this say? When leaving the room, be sure to turn out the light. It will be obvious if they are not switched off. Yeah, because it'll be bright as shit. Um, what's in here? That's what I'm talking about. First aid. Uh, we can't... Will you turn off the light? Turn off the light Nelly Furtado style? There we go. Um... He said, turn up and light, turn up and light, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, see how me dreams. Not everything in this magical world is what it seems. Oh. Yo, man, I, I, I gotta take a leak. Can you get the fuck up out of there? I mean, there has to be. There is nothing. Knock, knock, motherfucker. Uh, okay, okay, I remember what to do with that. We got it. What? Oh, no, I can't back up into it. Ah, fuck it. I don't think there's anything there anyways. Uh, it's soaking with blood, but there's no one here. Let's put our hand in it. Uh, like, like James did. Will you make a Metal Gear Solid 5 analysis? Uh, inevitably, yes. But I gotta do Metal Gear Solid 4 first. Oh god, fuck off. Um, Max, just to let you know, before SH3 became a thing, Konami wanted the game to be an arcade shooter. Let that sink in, an arcade shooter. Yep, doesn't surprise me, because Konami doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. They didn't know back then, and they didn't know now. The fact that they survived for as long as they did was because they had the help of amazing artists. They had Team Silent, they had Kojima, and now they got Nashi. Well, no, they have tons of money because people buy their shitty-ass mobile games. Uh... Wait. Can we go over there? I might as well. <sighs> Not everything in this... No! Oh! <laughs> that was close. <sighs> oh, okay. Isn't there this where I was? Originally? I can't remember. Yeah, it was. Can you not do that? I'm trying to shop here. Uh, I got a hanger. Uh, I don't remember what the hanger's for. I do remember we gotta mix that bleach with something. So that we can get rid of a whole bunch of flies, which we're gonna come across in a second. Big Gabe says, will you live stream MGS4? Hey, if there's enough demand for it, maybe. Will you make a Senran Kagura analysis? Uh, that's the game with, like, where all the female characters have, like, are scantily clad and have large breasts. Yeah, I'll totally do it. <laughs> no, I don't know. I've never played it. I just know my buddy, um, Frizzle likes it. Ooh! No, we gotta go back the other way. Is there something here? No! Which way do I go? Um, I guess we just have to go back the way we came, right? Like, we can't... Can we go in through here? Nope! Nope! Whew. Uh, hold on. I'll respond to that super chat in a second. Thank you so much for sending it in. Get the fuck out of my way. Where are we going? Can't go to the left, Beyonce style. Um, so I guess we just gotta... Where, where are we supposed to go? Do we go down that long hallway to the left? I guess. Can't go in there. Hold on, let me let me read that super chat before I lose it. Uh, Jose sends in another. Oh, from Chile again. Thank you. Hi, Max. Is there any explanation why Konami had this change? When did the problem start? Greetings from Chile. Well. Um, I don't think there were any problems per se. They just realized, hey, we can put less effort into making games and also make more money by just switching to the mobile game market. 
so that's what they did. It's less of a risk to make mobile games. That's why so many companies are moving towards making them. That's why companies like Activision and Blizzard are doing it. Like, you know, that whole thing with uh, Diablo Immortal. And they're all like, oh, don't you guys have phones? Yeah, but we don't want to play Diablo on the fucking phone. We want to play it on our laptops or our PCs. Why the fuck would we want to play it on our phones? They don't understand their core audience. But the fact is, it's still profitable nonetheless. Because people buy the mobile games and then they buy all the in-app purchases. Alright, so where the fuck are we going? Because I really, really don't know. Gosh. Let me just look at this real quick. Do we... No, we don't go back up the elevator. Do we? Fuck it, let's go over the elevator. Got shit else to do. When did Maine USA turn into Jurassic Park? No. God damn it. Don't bite me, I'm tender. Damn right, the PC is superior to the Max, you gotta go back to the room with the lap. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's why you use the fucking. Okay, I remember. I remember. Thank you. Um, now, where is the thing? Is. Which was the room with the. Uh, the hangar? I think it's. Is it the one back there with the safe point? I do not remember. This one, right? Nope, wrong one. This one. I know people are like, streamers don't like it when people backseat them. I really don't mind because I like things to move along at a brisk pace. Okay, so we gotta leave here. Lock it on. Let me keep munching on this. Sounded like a woman screaming. We totally went the wrong fucking way. GG, Heather. I blame it on you. Nothing in this whole magical world is what it seems. And then we go up there, and it's one of the rooms on the left, I think. So, Get the fuck up out of my way, crazy tall ass shopper. And then it's one of these rooms. Nope. In here. And nope, wrong one. Um, is it the bathroom? No, we were just there. What? The room with the red line. Oh, my bad. Yep, yep. Gotcha. See, one thing you you guys gotta understand, and forgive me if you're getting frustrated already with me, is that it's hard to focus on the game and chat with you guys at the same time. So please bear with me. Alright. So, um, ladder. Yeah. So we gotta take the coat hanger out. Pull the ladder down. Am I mad that PT was canceled, JGN? Well, I just got everybody in my live chat to write hashtag fuck Konami in the live chat. So yeah, I'm pretty pissed. Just like everybody else is. Uh, hey, Gaming University's here. Hey guys, go check out Gaming University's channel. He's got a lot of awesome videos. If, if you're a fan of like the Alan Wake and Control series, or control series. Like, the, the games that come out of Remedy, like Alan Wake Control, Max Payne, he has the best videos on YouTube. And I don't say that with any hint of hyperbole. It's true. Go check him out. Uh, 
Oh yeah, this thing. Oh yeah, I forgot it doesn't show the FMBs. Yeah, we can't we can't see certain things apparently because we're doing the PS2 emulator. So we can't see whatever it was that that was trying to show us. And apparently we missed a um a bulletproof vest. So uh I'm just going to go get that real quick cuz I don't like to die. I mean, you might like dying. It's death ain't worth it right now. Uh Yeah, isn't it like hidden in like a clothes rack or something? Wait, where's the bulletproof vest? Thought it might be in there. Oh, I, well, I played Silent Hill 3 uh, a couple times. I, I love it. It's just, I don't remember it as well as I do the first two games. Uh, yeah, we're. I don't want to leave this just yet because somebody said that there was a bulletproof vest, and I'd like for them to tell me where it is. Um, why not play SH three Windows version? There's a Windows version. I didn't know that. UCD Jordan sends in that Denmark, that Denmark currency. Thank you so much. After playing SH two, the dialogue in SH three seems far better localized, but I feel like the strangeness added to SH two's atmosphere. Yeah, I know what you're saying. It's sort of like the way that people in David Lynch movies deliver their lines. It, it just adds to the uneasiness. But I can understand, like, sometimes you just want better voice acting, right? Get out of the room, go through the hall with the bathrooms. Uh, okay. Is, is it in the bathroom that I want to get the bulletproof vest? Yeah, sweet pigment, tell me where to go. Because that will definitely come in handy for a boss fight. Uh, bathroom! Sorry, I gotta take a leak. You can uh, hit me with your shopping bag later. Um, and go through and to the end of the hall with the bathrooms. It's another hall with a lot of closures and dogs. It's a shop, okay. So, uh... Yeah, other way. And go through into the end of the hall with the bathrooms. There's another hall with a lot of closures and dogs. It's a shop. Okay. This shop block is broken. Oh, right. Okay. So is there a there's a bulletproof vest here? This is what you're talking about, right? Ah, got it. Okay. We're gravy, baby. Now, I, I do remember that the bulletproof vest slows you down, so I'm just going to save that for the boss fights, okay? Right now, we can just juke all these terrors. Um, and then back to... Yeah, okay. Wait, why, why are you looking... Why? Why? Why were you looking over here? Whatever. Uh, Good jit. Is it a little girl? Should I put this? <clears throat> right. Hey, Cable Guy. Good to see you, man. Hey, Max. What do you think of Quantum Break? That was also a Remedy game. I never got through all of it. I, I wasn't that big of a fan. I didn't really like the whole uh, live act, the switch between live action and gameplay. It was a neat idea, it just didn't work in my opinion. I, I will go back to it at some point because I really do love the uh, Remedyverse. And I like to see how Quantum Break adds to it because I know that it does. Okay. So yeah, let's just check around here real quick. No! <laughs> the sperm walkers. That's what we're gonna call them. That's the official name. Uh, oh. Well, why'd you have to unlock it? Just... What? 
Where am I? Lots of stuff is posted on the wall here, but nothing of any use. Is there a map of this area? Yeah. Okay, let's check over here. Yeah, we're uh, we're slipping into the other world. Although, you know, it could just really be main USA. There are some malls that aren't well maintained. Max, your content is really nice because you make really nice content. Your vids make me more interested in a game that I don't care or know about. Your content is amazing, Max, and we will support you. Thanks, dude. And that's the that's the whole important uh, the whole thing. It's like got a walnut. I'm allergic. Uh, that's the whole thing that I want to do is just try to get people more interested in gaming as a whole because there's a lot of there was a nice silver ring in here. There's a lot to games that people don't really get on the surface. There's a lot of uh, academic value. That's the stuff that I try to seek out in the games that I play so I can present it to all of you. Even in games that people probably aren't very inclined to play. Like, I was never inclined to play Killer7, for example, because I wasn't really fond of the gameplay. But I got somebody else to play it with me. And I'm glad that I did, because I was able to see how brilliant it is, and then I was able to present it to all of you. Why would something like this be here? This isn't a hospital. I don't know, maybe the Mafia operates out of here. Shit. Oh, okay, so... Wait. Did we just go around in a circle? Yeah, we did. And we missed uh, a couple of doors in there. Okay, let's go back. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, bonjour Calypso. Uh, by the way guys, uh, when I was talking about my French teacher before, uh, that's her. She's in the chat right now. Say bonjour. C'est un plaisir de vous voir aujourd'hui. Okay, so there's this here, nothing there. And then, anything in here? Nope, okay. No, don't pip slap me. Um. Go to the end of the hall. And... Nope. Nope. And... Nope. Okay. So let's go back to the main hall. By going through here. Oh shit. No, get that. Nope. No, don't fertilize me. No. I'm not that fertile. I know it looks like I am, but I'm not. Um, how's my health? Oh, we're okay. Oh, did I say, did I say vu? My bad. Didn't mean to say that. Uh, we can't go down there, so we gotta go up. I think this is a restaurant, right? Where we uh, break open the walnut? Yeah, it's the restaurant. Uh, oh yeah, and then we gotta reach inside the fucking dog. Barbecued dog? Uh, I was gonna make a joke, but I won't. Uh, who the hell would make something like this? Furthermore, who the hell would eat it? There's something in the dog's stomach. Got a cooked key. This isn't Saw, it's Silent Hill. And even though I don't know where I'm going, I'm doing pretty well in terms of health. I really like this stream, but my Astro brain is telling me to continue playing the new Near Replicant. Well, you can go play Near, dude. It's fine. You can watch this later. I mean, I want to play Near. Oh my god! I want to play Near too, but I, I needed to make content for you guys. I'm, I'm glad that uh, you know, this choice paid off because I got about 250 people watching me right now. I'm terribly happy to hang out with the rest of you. Okay. Are there any ghost people that are going to knock back here? No. Literally, there doesn't seem to be anything in this room. No. Nothing. What was the point in coming in here? Uh, this door? No. 
then... Sorry, I gotta check the map a lot, guys, because I forget very easily. Uh, yeah, let's go to the left. I don't want it. And... Oh, yes. Oh, fuck! Could you not, please? Wait, no, we were just here. Isn't there something in here um, that we used to crack the walnut open? I can't remember. No. Damn it. I forgot. Wait, what are you looking at? Was she looking at something? No? Okay. Allez les jaunes, yes. Allez les jaunes means stay yellow in French, guys. <laughs> hey friend, do you take call-ins today? Uh, no, Vasily, we don't. Uh, this isn't that type of stream. But I will got let you guys know that me and John Tucker are going to be doing a mental health stream this Wednesday. This is the first time anybody's hearing about it. So uh, make sure to tune in then. It'll be at... Yeah, what is she looking at? It's not here. It's in the first floor, I believe. Okay, thank you. Um, so we got to go back to the first floor. Yeah, because there's nothing else we can do here. All right. That's cool. Where is... There we go. Use the key for the tight hall with the closure in the first floor. Okay. Yep. Back seat the shit out of me. It's fine. Um, by the first floor, do you mean like at the bottom of the stairs? Use the key for in the tight hall with the closure in the first floor. Uh, you got to go through the back of the store to crack the nut. Hmm. Where's the back of the store? Oh, fuck. No, no, I don't want to be in here. No, fuck it. What time are you going to be streaming Wednesday? 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, so do we go back down the ladder? Is that the idea? We go back down the ladder? Oh, we really have to go back with the sperm guys? Shit. So we got to... Where you unlock the door. Top right of the map, thanks. Uh, this map? Okay, I'm... I'm confused. It doesn't help that I need to go to the bathroom, too. Second floor. Okay, guys, just forgive me. I really, really, really need to use the washroom. I have a weak bladder. Uh, let me just play some music. Uh, I'll be back in one second.
Alright, so you guys want to know something that sucks? Thankfully, you guys didn't hear me do, like, hear this, because I muted my mic, but, um, right when I got up to use the washroom, I turned around in my chair, and my right foot hit my water bottle, and my water bottle spilled all over my script, which I'm using for the Final Fantasy video, and that's annoying, because not only did I spill water, but that script had all my graphics notes. So like what I like to do is take my script and write, put this graphic here and put this graphic there. I got water all over it. That's how badly I had to use the washroom. Okay. <sighs> go to the room where the spoon guys are and then go to the door you unlocked. You will be in a tight hall with a closure. There's one door on which you can use the key. Thank you, sweet pigment. Thank you. God bless you. You're an angel. <sighs> so, there are sperm guys here. Right? That's the door I unlocked. You'll be in a tight hall with a closure. There's one door on which you can use the key. So I'm... Oh, it's that, that one, like, little red lot. There. Okay, I gotcha. Alright, wish me luck, guys. Let's hope I don't get fertilized. Go! No! No, I don't want to have children. I'm a strong, independent woman that don't need no... Okay. Um, right, and then there's the one door. And it's this one, right? Yes! We are in like Flynn. Oh, yes. Yes! Now I don't even need a fucking gun. Silent Hill 2, I didn't even need the gun. Just give me that 2x4 and I am set. Uh, right. They s okay. And then, let's see, what? Got the M pool. The fucking reload. And we'll. No, I didn't mean to use two shit. I thought it would have been like, are you sure you want to use the health drink? Damn it. Okay, so what goodies do we have in here? It, yeah, we need, is this where we crack the nut? Get out of here, mouse shit. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Oh shit, I meant to, yeah, remove the, the be right back. Thank you, my bad, all right. Uh, yeah, so we can get out here now. Be right back, still on the screen. Yep, it's gone. So, that's where we just came from. Leave me alone! Don't you dare fall down there. Thank God that animation canceled that attack out. Get out of my way. Nope. My name isn't Maxine, but thank you. Uh, even though, you know, the thumbnail for this stream might have made you think otherwise. Uh, let's see. There we go. That's the other thing I needed. Now we just need to find the bucket, right? And then we can mix the shit. And get rid of, like, all those bugs that we're about to see in a minute. Yeah. Right here, right? There it is. Then... There's, like, a whole bunch of... Yeah, those things. So... What do we do? We just... Do we mix it here, or do we move over to the bucket back there? Combine that with that. It's pointless to. Oh, yeah, we gotta turn off the fan. Right. Duh. Is that where we just came from? No. I don't know what kind of switch it is, but it's on while well, you turn the switch off. Okay, we're good. 
And then, because I think we got to put it into this bucket. I'm just gonna fucking up all the buttons. We're gonna mix it here. Yay! I'm smart. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should have brought your your uh, COVID mask with you today, huh? Need to study for my finals tomorrow, but I really want to watch the stream. Uh, well, the finals are more important, dude. You can watch the stream later. If your finals are tomorrow. That's more pressing, right? Two maxes, Terry crafting and brainstorming will be the greatest content ever. Two maxes. I don't particularly want to die. Better stay out of that hallway. Yeah, we got to turn it back on. Hmm. Okay, got a question for you guys. What are you uh, playing this weekend? Are you playing near Replicant? Playing something else? Let me know. Also, let me know if you have any uh, recommendations for me. Jesus. You guys hear that? That was weird. It looked... Okay, the way th that... Uh, sounded... Like, the way it was mixed, it sounded like it was coming from downstairs. Not in the game, but in my house. That low-key kind of creeped me out there for a second. Got the hand bun gun bullets, but it's okay. I don't really need them because I got my, my steel pipe. And that's all I need because I'm cheap. You playing Morrowind? Nice. Oh, uh, sing Le Vion Rose. Il est entré dans mon cœur. And that's all you're getting. Je vois la vie en rose. No, we're good, okay. Uh, playing Stalker. Yeah, that's one that people have been recommending that I play. Uh, Resident Evil 4 and Dark Souls. Nice, classics. Days Gone. There's that whole controversy about that game, right? The Yakuza Like a Dragon, nice. Clock Tower 3. <clears> hmm. <throat> hey, Nimrud, good to see you, man. Cyberpunk 2077, is it fixed yet? When it's fixed, I'll be happy to play it. Uh, let's just check those other doors first, and then we'll go on that one. Mm -mm. Said that last time, Heather. Calm down, Max. We all know that as a Canadian, you're keeping a moose in your base. How did you know? And it's okay. It's 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 legal up here. What? Nothing in here. No, we're good. We just got it. Yeah, days gone. Uh, the guy that made that game. He was in the news like about a week ago. Or maybe a few days ago. I don't know. You guys know how the news cycle is. Oh, wait. You know what? I'm going to take out my gun real quick. Because I hear that grating sound, which is not good for my autism. And I know what it is. And it pisses me off, so I'm going to shoot it. because I really don't need to hear that noise every time I come out. Oh, shit. Really? Okay, am I look like just hemorrhaging health? Yeah, fuck it. Let's put that, uh... No! This menu is so awkward, man. Okay, put that shit on. Oh, fucking... Wow, that was a waste of time. Yeah, fuck it. That's what we're doing? Screw it. Okay. I don't think there are any more of those floating things, so I don't mind taking this thing off. 
Reload and get that back out. All right, we're good. Now, no. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll come back again in a second. No. I'm not that tasty, I promise. Wait, no, this is where I came from. My bad. Wait, no, no, no. What were you looking at? Shit. I don't want to go away. Whew. Hey, Max, did you... Wait, hold on. I want to read this. Hey, Max, did you happen to see Mark Rober's video on his son? Apparently, he also is on the spectrum, and he's planning a huge charity event with a bunch of celebrities to raise money for autism research. Uh, no, I haven't heard of that. Um, I don't know who Mark Rober is, unfortunately, but I, I, I like the concept of what you're talking about. If you want to email me about it, um, please do. Uh, my email is maxderrett at yahoo.ca. Here, I'll put it in the, um, the live chat. Sorry about my mechanical keyboard, it's loud. Max, you could play Azura's Wrath. Um, isn't that like an old PS1 game? Or am I thinking of something else? Or is that Azure Dreams? I can't remember. Um, oh, and then, yeah, sorry, Mike Key sends in a $5 Canadian. Thank you so much for that, dude. Max, you excited for Resident Evil 8 Village? Sucks I got laid off work because of COVID, but now I have time for RE8. Yeah, that sucks, dude, and I'm terribly sorry to hear that you lost your job, but, you know, that is a one bright side, RE8. I am looking forward to it. Um, I do want to play Near Replicant and uh, Returnal first, although we'll see if Returnal is good, and if it's not, it just gives me more time to, uh, to finish Near. Okay. Leave me alone! Um, where are we going? Can we go down that long hallway up there? I don't think we can. Oh, fuck you, man. Yeah, we can't go up there. What is up with this? This should be a, something signifying that there's a wall there. D did I... Did I get a key? that I'm forgetting about? House key. Still gotta... crack that nut. Hmm. Okay. I like being in blue. Dabba dee dabba die. Um, was I supposed to leave that area? So, yeah. Honestly, remember guys, just backseat the shit out of me. What? Can I... Wait. Yeah, okay, so let's go around. Uh... And there's this door. Yeah, so this is where we came from. Right, I know, but where am I supposed to crack the nut? Go back to the door you came from. There's a door right near it. That's where you find the nutcracker. Uh, damn it. I wish you would have specified which door. There's a vice you can crack the walnut. Oh, okay, so we got to find a room with torture equipment. Okay. No! Is it this room? Yeah. Yeah, definitely this room. Okay. Yeah, um, and then we gotta go put it in the door. Yeah, I remember. Okay, save the game, because I'm paranoid. <sighs> Max, when you say crack that nut, it sounds wrong. No, it, no, it doesn't sound wrong when you say crack a nut. It sounds wrong when you say bust a nut. Okay. Where is the vice? The stand on the restraint is shaped like a human. I wonder why. Um, 
Am I looking right at? Oh, there it is. Found it. There's a sort of vice here. Okay. Let's go. I mean, crack the nuts. These menus are a lot more difficult to navigate than it seems, I promise. No nut in the wall, nutshell, just a jewel. And we know where that goes. We just gotta remember how we get back there. So we gotta go... We got to go... Back up the stairs over on the left, right? So how do we get back there? Okay. So we go... Um, okay, got it. I got it. Get out of my way, Cujo! It's a Silent Hill. It's not the Cujo the movie. Oh my Jesus H. Christ. And then... So we keep going forward and then first door on our right. Turn up the light, turn up the light. Down, 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 down. See all my dreams. What the hell is the lucky deal when it's not all that it seems? Not sure why I'm chilling in this room. I know where I gotta go. And then move up for store on the right. Thank God GBS is our thing in real life, otherwise I wouldn't know where the shit I was ever going. Oh, oh see you later, Nimmy. Or er, Nip. Damn it! <laughs> Nimrod! That's what Calypso calls you. I don't call you that. Uh, no! Why are you blocking? That's so... That's such a faux pas, block blocking an, an escalator. Um, that's also French. Okay, use. Open that shit. Cool. Welcome to the Islamic Society of Silent Hill, guys. Um, let's see. <sighs> yeah. What am I doing today uh, after I'm done streaming? I got a. Uh, so I'm gonna be. Whoa, what's up with that? You see that? Look at that texture. Man, it's gotta be like a... I hope they eventually do a SH3 Enhanced Edition. That'd be dope. Okay. Au revoir, Calypso. Bonne journée, or bonsoir. Yeah, so it's five o'clock right now. We're probably gonna go for another hour and a half. And then I gotta have dinner, and then I'm meeting up with my girlfriend. What a thrill In darkness and silence through the night What a thrill I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, uh, je vais... No, je vais préparer mes armes. Je te promets. Merci. And I remember there was somebody else saying they were from France. I should have said hi to them. My bad. Thanks, Sacred. Thank you so much for doing that, dude. Okay, so this is where the big worm comes out of the wall, right? Well, not yet, Biggis. <laughs> um, I haven't actually been able to go see her yet because uh, she lives just across the border. So we're just waiting for all the COVID bullshit to finish so that way you know, I can go see her and I don't have to be quarantined in a hotel. Right? But, uh, yeah, she's pretty great. Well, no, there is a enhanced PC edition of Silent Hill 2, Sir Moody, and it's fantastic. If you want to go get a look at what that looks like. Oh my god. 
Uh, I was gonna make a joke, but it would probably be too gross for YouTube. Um, Alright, so put that shit on. I don't remember how... I think what you have to do to fight this boss is that there's three holes on either side of the room. So six in total. And you gotta fire at it when its mouth is open. I think that's doing something. Okay. What is he doing? What the fuck is he doing? Okay. Wait, what? How does... Somebody explain that to me using scientific terms. I'm just gonna reload real quick. Where you at? Oh! Thank God for stereo headphones. It's probably only three shots apiece, right? <laughs> See, like, 15 people tuned out in, like, the last minute or so. It's because of my singing. Get that foreskin face. <sighs> yeah, I probably dragon. He just did it very quickly. Get that cursor out of the way, sorry. What? It's the shopping mall just like before. In black? Or back in the saddle? Okay, so I think we just got out of the other world, right? I think. And now we're about to go meet up with uh, Douglas Cartland. He's a detective. Yeah, we're definitely out of the uh, other world now. Uh, how... Okay, let's just go around in a circle. Fuck it. Sunshine Princess. Royal Girl. No, through here. Okay, yeah, we're gonna meet up with Douglas and then I just gotta dip out for a second, guys. Um, I'll just let the cutscene play while um, you know, Douglas acts like a total perv. Man, this, this game looks really good through the emulator. Okay, yeah, I'll be right back. Just watch uh, Douglas try to get his freak on. Heather! It's you. What just happened? You must be one of them! What did I do? And what do you mean by one of them? You're in on this with that Claudia, aren't you? Claudia? What about her? She asked me to find you, that's all. So you are one of them. Claudia did all that? Look, I was just hired to find you. I'm not on anybody's side. I don't know anything about this. Why don't you start by telling me what happened here? And that monster. What the hell was that? I don't know any more than you do. All I know is that things are getting really screwy around here, and I got a weird feeling it's got something to do with me. Maybe you're just an innocent bystander, but I, I can't feel sorry for you because you dragged me into this. What the fuck did he you do? Found me. What are you talking about? What's so special about you anyway? If I knew that, I wouldn't be so confused, would I? She's got a point. But I know there's something. Something I've been running from and forgot for a long time. I 
I will say though, her hair, the textures with uh, 1440p don't really look that good. It's okay though, it's not distracting. Where are you going? <laughs> Why do they sound high? What should I do? How if I know? I don't know. Go get a pair of binoculars and some donuts, why don't you? <sighs> Leo Bork says, yeah, Silent Hill 3 was the best looking of the original games. Um, yeah, arguably. I, I will say, though, Silent Hill 4, even though I wasn't a fan of it, it was a pretty damn good looking game. Like, for games that came out on the PS2... Wait, I can take off that... That, uh, bulletproof vest right now. For games that came out on the PS2... The Silent Hill games are weirdly gorgeous. Visually, I mean. I mean, they're gorgeous in other ways, but speaking visually. Uh... <laughs> hey, still better than the Elder Scrolls Oblivion voice lines? Yeah. Hold on, is there... I want to make sure I don't miss anything in here. Max, do you know about the game Sad Satan? No, I've never heard of it, actually. Like, what is it? A PS3 or PlayStation, Xbox, what? Oh, yeah, that room in, yeah, with the giant head in Silent Hill 4. Yeah, that was funny. Hold on. While I just have this thought, I'm glad that you brought that up. There's this funny video that I want to link to you guys. I'm going to post it in the chat. Um, do you guys remember a YouTube channel from way back in the day called Four Player Podcast? Uh, well, give me one second. There's this one really, really funny video that I want to link to you guys where he, he comes across that giant head and then just loses his shit, like, out of fear. Uh, hold on, just give me one second, guys. I'll find it. Uh... Everything in this magical world is what it seems. I got it. See? Told you to be quick. All right, go check that out when it's funny. Uh, when you got a chance. It's pretty funny. All right, back to the game. Are you going to play Resident Evil Village? Yes, definitely will, Anubis. I might not play it right away because I do want to get through Nier. Because a lot of people like the stuff that I did on Nier Automata, and I hear that the original Nier has a good story, so I uh, want to see what all the fuss is about. Uh, nobody's here either. Subway map here. No, can't do anything. There's a newspaper left on top of the ticket machine. Fatal accident at Hazel Street. At about 11 p.m. on the 4th, a man waiting on the platform at the Hazel Street station fell onto the tracks and was decapitated oh, by the arriving St. Renata College-bound train. The victim died instantly. While police have not yet determined whether the, what death was an accident or suicide, witnesses reported that the victim did not look inebriated and seemed to jump off the platform deliberately. The victim's identity... Well, okay, so that'd be suicide. The victim's identity is still unknown. He was approximately 40 years old, 5 feet, 10 inches tall. He was wearing a black jacket. Newspapers, four months old. What's he doing here now? Creepy, creepy. Such a sat weirdly satisfying noise. Please, Max, give Sound Hill 4 another chance. It's a really good game. Hey, look, dude, like, the one thing that I'm known for on YouTube, if I'm known for anything at all, is Silent Hill. So I imagine at some point I will do videos, like, I don't know, maybe when I'm done doing the Metal Gear Solid 4 retrospectives, I'll do retrospectives on the Silent Hill games. There we go. That's what I was looking for. And I will do Silent Hill 4. Kill, baby, kill. Um, I'm a loot horse, so I gotta make sure that I get everything. Nothing there. You guys hear that shit? Sounds like somebody's taking a mean shit. Hey man, how's that Taco Bell treating you? 
Um, yeah, so we just gotta go downstairs. Okay. Actually, my favorite IP was Silent Hill. I just got the new one already 10 hours or so in. Curious to see what you think of it. The music is... Yeah, the music's great. It's near, so the music is obviously great. Um, yeah. In the gameplay, yeah, it's very reminiscent of uh, Nier Automata, which I like. I don't think I'll have time to play it tonight because I think, yeah, after dinner, I'm going to meet up with my girlfriend. We're probably going to play... Um, Either Dead by Daylight or Rainbow Six. Because, yeah, usually at the end of the day, me, her, and her sister like to meet up and play those games. And uh, never played them before, but she got me into them. Like, she was also the one that got me into Final Fantasy X. Wait, did I? Where am I going? Yeah, we're going to play probably either of those. Then after that, we're, we might watch a movie or something. I might not be able to play uh, more um, near until Monday. Which is too bad, but whatever. It's okay. I get to spend time with my lady. Nope, wrong menu. Uh, okay, is there, like, any items back here? I don't think so. Fuck off, Cujo, I don't want it. Oh! All right, that's it. You're getting the business. No! Reload, you idiot. Wow, this is just, this is just pitiful. That hurt my feelings. Um, okay, well, first let's just reload. And then get that back out. Because I didn't mean to use that. And. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just use one of those. Get ourselves back up to full health. You should also get the Siren Games a look. Uh, didn't Ragnaroks do a video on Siren? It sounds familiar. Aside from that, I don't... Ugh, why are there dogs down here? Shit. Uh, aside from that, I don't really recall what Siren is. But I'd be happy to look into it. Okay, so down these stairs. I see in a video that Metal Gear Solid 5 shares a lot of similarities with the book Moby Dick, even the name of the choppers. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. And, like, Big Boss says to Venom Snake, call me Ishmael, which is the opening line of, um... of, uh, Moby Dick. What is it with this game and nuts? I'm allergic to nuts. Hey, sweet pigment. No, we just got to the, um... Wait. We just got to the, uh... Subway station. Now I'm trying to figure out what the hell to do. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. Um, hmm. Yeah, I... Oh, I think I know where we gotta go. So we just go on the other side of this and then go down the stairs? Yeah. No! Damn it! Also... Okay, that's good. Got more health and ammo. That's good. The path is blocked with trash. I can't go through here. Why is everything covered with blood? And who's the dude? Yo, dude! Can you help a brother out? Or a sister out? Of... Fuck it. Mm. Yeah, sweet pigment, just feel free to backseat me. You've been helping me out a great deal. I really, really appreciate it. If you want to tell me where to go, that would be great. Hey, Max, do you stream on Twitch or any other platform? Yeah, um, actually, sometime next week, I'm going to be... So, uh, a little bit of insider info for you guys. Um, I got early access to a game 
called Claire de Lune. It's Claire, like the female name's Claire with an E, and then de Lune. You can find a trailer of it on YouTube. Um, I, I got early access to it. It's a game that's coming out in June. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about it uh, later in the week, but I'm going to be streaming it on Twitch. And there are some pretty famous developers behind that game. So if you want to be, uh, if you want to check that out, or you know, check out me streaming other games that aren't related to the stuff that I talk about on this channel, make sure to go to my Twitch. There's a link to it in the description box below. Mercy buckets. So just shoot the lock off of it. Heather Christ, have you never seen action movies? Uh, so we already went through, wait, so can we go over here? The chain's holding the doors together, secured with a bolt and a nut. The nut is screwed on the tight. I can't turn it with my hands. I'm assuming the nutcracker that we just got doesn't really have anything to do with that, right? Or does it? Okay. I mean, if it works, it works. And there's nothing here. Okay. Well, Silent Hill 3 being a pretty great feminist video game, I think founding a nutcracker is a nice joke. Ha! <laughs> I get it. Yeah, I guess you could say, like, Silent Hill 3 has got a pretty good depiction of a woman. You know, she's not sexualized. And people might say, well, she's wearing a skirt. Well, actually, funny enough, uh, in the making of, like, I watched a documentary on the making of Silent Hill 3, and they actually planned on having Heather dress more like a dude or more conservatively, and then it was the female members on Team Silent that said, no, we should dress her like this, and that was the design they went through. I guess I know right now. Fuck yeah. Now we're cooking with gas. All right. First and foremost... Let's reload that shit, so I don't forget. Oh, it's already... Okay, we're good. Not like we're gonna need it, though, because all we need is a spike. And, uh, yeah, we don't want to mess with that dude. I think the official name of that monster is the tumor, or the cancer. Uh, yeah, can't go through there. So let's go down here. Yeah, mercy buckets. Never heard that expression? It's what Americans say when they try to speak French. Uh, thankfully, I'm not an American, though. Well, not thankfully. Whatever. I don't mind America. Hmm. Well, you guys, okay. So what have you suggested to me today? You suggested Pathologic. You suggested Siren. <sighs> What other games do you guys think that I should play? Like, what what would you like to see me do a video on next? Because I got one on Final Fantasy X coming out uh, next week. Then the week after that, I'm going to try and get a video done on a series that I've already talked about before. It's not Silent Hill. I'll just say that first and foremost, but uh, I won't say any more than that. Uh, yeah, I got the shotgun, sweet pigment. There's a door with a chain, You're supposed to unlock it. Got that, yep. Um, there's like a little secret cutscene here, right? Where she almost gets run over by a train because there's like a red door. Oh, nice. I am getting a little bit lost, though. Um, no, I don't want to be here. How do I get back up there? No! Please tell me that screeching sound isn't the sound of a train coming to fucking own me. Uh, what, for real?
Nice. GG. G to the G. Jill Valentine says, why request more remakes when you can request better ports? Well, it depends. Like, maybe, like, certain games could work. Fuck, do we have to watch all this all over again? Shit. God damn it. <sighs> Gotta go through all that all over. Take off that vest. Okay, note to self. Never jump on train checks ever. Take out that pipe. Okay. Yeah. It depends on the game. So, if the game... Like, if all the mechanics and the story and the cutscenes and all that are... They still hold up generally well, then you can get away with doing a remaster. However, if it's a game where it's... Like, the the um, controls are sort of outdated and takes some getting used to if you... And, you know, not a lot of people who play games are that patient. Then it might be worthwhile to do a remake. So, for example, I think it would be a good idea to do a remake of Metal Gear Solid 1 because even though, you know, obviously I love the shit out of the game and I can pick it up and play it at any time, the reason why I can pick it up and play it at any time is because I grew up playing with those controls. Whereas people are probably not fond of, you know, the top-down view and, you know, trying to aim at enemies that are off-screen. Right? Yeah, I, I read the newspaper um, last time. It's just, it's about, you know, the newspaper being four months old and all that. Uh, yep, can't go that way. Yeah, so I think Metal Gear Solid 1 would benefit well from a remake. But, uh, and games like Soul Reaver 2 would be great. Um, yeah, we just gotta go through here. <clears throat> but if it's a game like the aforementioned Final Fantasy X, then I think it was, it's good to remaster games like that because the mechanics and Pretty much everything else hold up pretty well. It's still a interestingly gorgeous game. Like it, it came out in 2001, but the art direction of it is just fabulous. Okay. Yeah, games that taught us safe paranoia. Yeah, no shit. Another reason why I'm probably more inclined to play more near before I get into RE8, right? Um. Yeah, where's the map? Did you read the book about Ghost 2 when you head down? Sorry, I wasn't here for a couple minutes. No, I don't think I read the book of that book. Okay, good. Found this shit. So if I fuck up again, we won't have to go as far. Yeah, remake the MSX Metal Gear. Yeah, I'd be down for that. Okay, I fucking hate the subway part of this game because everything is just so confusing. I get lost so easily. Like, I can't even do the subway sections in Persona 5 without fucking losing my place. Wait. What the hell? I... I have no idea where the hell I'm going. I can't even remember where I got the map. <sighs> okay, so that's... Yeah, so we gotta go find the Nutcracker, or whatever it was, to open that shit up. Yeah, let's just go downstairs. Fuck it. Fuck it. 
Or no. God, I don't know where I'm going. Hmm. Oh, here's the map. I found it. Okay. Pick that shit up. Okay, so... If I recall correctly, there wasn't really anything here, so we just go downstairs. Right? Then we go... Where do we go? So there's that there, that there. Yeah, so we want to go keep going down. Yep, okay. Hey man, I don't know how to pronounce your name because it's in Russian, but glad to have you here. Mm, there's nothing here. Max played Noida. There's a lot of alchemy related themes to explore. I think somebody recommended that game to me like a few days ago. I can't remember though. Oh, there's the fucking dog. Okay, we need a plan. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Reminder, do not hop on the motherfucking tracks. Can't go through there. Pro tip, there's going to be a door where you will have to climb down to open it. But it's locked and the tram will come so you have to get back. Yeah, I remember that part. I do remember that part. Thank you. This door is locked, and we unlock it from the other side. So I think we went down the wrong steps. Can the fucking train come along and run those dogs over? Shit. Can you say my name, please? No. Alright, fine. Joe Rogers. Hmm, Joe Rogers. And then... Yeah, we just go through here. Yeah, man. I don't understand how people can do, like, streaming, like, daily. I have the energy for, like, an hour and a half, but then after that, it just... My body craps out on me. Face that way. Thank you. Nothing here? Okay. All right, let's just go back up the stairs. Cash money, cars closed. This is the way your ball is roll. Mm, this is so boring, I know. Let's go over to the other side. And no, actually no, I don't think I need to save. And Max, forgive me for asking if you already played this, but have you played RDR2 and what's your quick opinion? Yeah, I love RDR2, dude. It's probably one of the best single player games I've ever played. Now multiplayer, that shit pissed me off within like an hour. I never played it ever since. I read this a long time ago. It's nothing little occult magazine. Seemed like a bunch of crap to me. It's not so bad if you just read it for fun though. The souls of those who died suddenly by suicide or accident don't realize they're dead. Sometimes they put and stay, stay put and haunt that particular place. These spirits have lost their human senses and memories and can only keep replaying the pain and sadness of the moments they died. The pain can get so bad that they turn to humans for salvation, or they begrudge humans their lives at such point. They, at such times, they can possess humans. Wait, so you're saying that if you commit suicide and you're wandering the spirit world, you can possess certain people? That's not really a, a disincentive. Places known as famous suicide spots or high accident areas are often to blame. You should be careful when approaching such locations, especially on the day or at the time the death occurred. That is, if you don't want it to happen to you too. Well, I, I don't plan on committing Sudoku anytime soon. So, uh, yeah, don't have to worry about that. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I managed to open that gate, Sweet Pigment. Um... I'm just trying to find my way back to where the nutcracker is. Don't you hop on those tracks. Oh. Oh, no. No. Oh, for Christ's sake, no. Please, God, no. No! <laughs> Oh, God damn.
damn it. How do you get off? Like, you can't hop back up on the top, right? <sighs> Jesus. I should have saved. So, did I find anything when I went over here before? I can get back up? I just have to walk towards the wall. For fuck's sake. I tried to do it, but it wasn't letting me. Okay, you know what? Because people are leaving. I'm just going to look up a guide for this. Fuck it. Because uh, I, I imagine that this shit is... I'm just going to be stuck here for like the la next hour. Going through this shit. Alright, just give me a second, guys. Most of the ways are blocked to the first floor. Walk through the right side of the turnstiles and check along. So you can get the subway map. Got that. Platform Nexus. In this area, as I say, simple. We'll be near the wall of the southern western highway. Head towards the stairway to platform two. To oh, for Christ's sake. Would you just leave me alone for a second? Shit. To find a game locked at the chain number. I want to walk down the stairway to platform one in the northeastern area of the map. Where the ghost... Okay, so let's just go... Are we in... Is that where we are right now? Oh, we don't have a map of this area. I thought we got one already. Or no, we have to go back and get it. Because I'm an idiot who doesn't use free saves. Right, back up. Backing up. Backing up. Alright. So. Just so we can get through this shit expediently. Because... It's kind of boring when it's just footsteps and nothing going on. Uh, here we go. Alright. Pick that shit up. Got the map. And let me organize this guide so that way I can still have the chat on my other screen and the guide up. Okay, so we got that. Head towards the stairway to platform 2 to find a gate lock with the chain. But we don't want to go there yet. Because we want to go to the platform 1 in the northeastern. So that's to Central Square. But can we go to Central Square? No. Wait a minute. It's said northeastern center of the map. So, oh, wait. Okay, fuck it. Let's just go by the guide itself. Yeah, the dogs can smell confusion. No shit. Um, all right. So, let's see. Here's the subway map. Oh, head down one of the three stairs to the second area. Okay. So we're going down the stairs. The dogs can, they can smell your fear. Smell what you ate for breakfast. Taco Bell? Um, all right, so now we're down the stairs. In this area is a safe symbol, which I am definitely going to use because I'm not going all the way back up just to get a map again. Yes. Thank you. Okay, go to platform one on the northeastern part of the map. Okay. Which is this way, right? Okay, so go up and to the right. Thank you, game. Match you should watch Hannibal. Uh, I probably will at some point um, because my girlfriend's, I think her favorite movie is Silence of the Lambs. And when I told her I'd never seen Hannibal, she got visibly offended. So I will watch it. That and, um, what is it? Red Dragon? Or the one with Brian Cox? Uh, Maneater, I think it is, or Manhunter. Okay, 
So now we're at platform one at the northeastern area of the map. You can check out platforms three and four before one and two, but we're, we're at the ghost. Just like the newspaper said, someone died on one of these platforms. If or when you get pushed in, quickly jump back on the platform before the train hits you. Okay, so I tried doing that. I was facing the platform and pressing A, but it wasn't letting me do it before. All right, whatever. Platform one, head down another set of stairs. Actually connected by a big steel grate. Look out for any two heads around, there should be two or three. All right. And then we gotta head down another one after we sort of explore around here. Any goodies? No, just wasting my time. Yeah, this is where we were before. Before I started getting my shit pushed in. Uh, UZD Jordan sends in more of that, that Denmark currency. Do you feel like SH3 was hurt by being linked to SH1? I loved it personally, but also felt like the story was strong enough to stand on its own. Um, I don't know. It, it sort of depends on what you prefer. I mean, it seems to me like people ap appreciated the approach that Silent Hill 2 took, where it was just a standalone story in a weird town. I think Silent Hill 1 and Silent Hill 3 worked for me because they sort of expand upon how the universe of Silent Hill functions. Um, and in that way, I appreciate them. Check out, okay. Head down another set of stores. The area will be blocked off, but you can find two head health drinks before going back up. Oh, okay, cool. Well, I also found this thing. I got a nutcracker, okay. Uh, cross the platform. Oh, so there, okay, so there was another set of stairs I could go down to. Right, I, I actually knew that. Um, so where are they? Is it just on the other side of the tracks? Yeah. Gotcha. Alright, we're good, we're good. Cash money, cars, clothes, this is the way your balls roll. There's a dead dude under that shit. Hi, Claudio. Good to see you, man. How's it going? Big chillin'? Um, Alright, so then we gotta go back upstairs and then go to platform two. Gotcha. Alright. Uh, but no, we don't want it. No! Camera, no! This game came out on the PS2? What are you talking about? The camera's perfect. And I am... I forgot where I was supposed to go. Uh, yeah. Okay, so other side. Hmm. Yeah, see, Silent Hill has such a rich mythology. And just sort of basking in the mystery of that mythology is what makes it so great. Um, guess we gotta go over here and to the left to go to platform two. And I really wish that Team Silent had the opportunity to do more games like Silent Hill 2 where you could just sort of bask in it. And I wish that, like I know Silent Hill 4 is an example of that, but I just wish it was done better. Okay, use. Hey, Max, is there going to be more streams of you playing Silent Hill 3? Yeah, probably. Um, I mean, hell, I'll fucking do it if you want to show up and help me through. Uh, plus, you know, we had a whole bunch of people show up today, which was very encouraging. All right. You'll find a dirty old train on this platform. Look inside to find a shotgun on one end and two boxes of shotgun shells on the other end. Exit the train and head to the flight of stairs behind the stairs you just came down. Okay, cool. All right. Let me go get my boomstick. And there's the sound of that guy passing that burrito. Mm, and then we gotta go behind the stairwell. Right? Oh, no, no! Please don't. And an ogre here. Uh, if you don't, he will rush at you dealing a great amount of damage. Well, what if we just juke him? 
And now head down the flight of stairs mentioned earlier to reach the floors that leads to platforms three and platform four. Platform four won't have anything but two heads, so you may want to avoid that unless you need kills for one of the endings. Oh, well, I'm not going for the bad ending, so. Yes, it is PCX SX2, Ross, thanks for asking. Um, let's see. Platform three, are we on platform three right now? No, we just, oh, okay, no, we, this is where we want to be. So we want to go over to platform three, which is not that one, right? It's the one over, yeah. Head to the furthest end of the platform until you see a door with a red light on the tracks. So go down to the door and try to open it. It will be locked, but you need to investigate it to start the next part. Be prepared to get on the platform immediately after. Okay, okay. So before I do this, sweet pigment, what I have to do is I just need to face, wait, hold on a sec. Yeah, I just need to face the platform and press X, right? Right? Because that's what I did last time. No, I mean the time before last time and I got killed. All right, let me just... I'm going to jump back onto the platform as soon as possible. A train can be heard in the distance. Jump on in a cutscene will play, showing a train stopping on the platform. Walk all the way to the western end. Oh, okay. All right. All right, so we're about to get out of this shit. That's good. All right. Just waiting on your comments, sweet pigment. Yeah, Claudio and Dietrich, thank you so much for watching the Ion series. I'm so glad that there are people, you know, still going to all the trouble to watch all those parts, right? That's the door. Better go save. Um, yeah, okay, fuck it. Let's just save, because you know, you know what? I am autistic, and that means I'm hella paranoid. Like, way more paranoid than the average person. So, yeah, the only choice that you have, unfortunately, Duze, is emulation. And why is that the only choice you have? Because... You remember, guys, hashtag what? Put it in the chat. Hashtag what? How do I... I'm trying to remember where the... The safe point is. Um... Fuck. Well, no, see... Fuck it, I'll just risk it. I'll risk it. Fuck it. Um, no, turn around. Let's be insistent on the button. Yes, okay, so I'll just press the shit out of the button. And then apparently when you get on the subway, there's going to be a save point there. And then I'll save there. There you go, Jonathan. He's got it. Hashtag fuck Konami. All right, we go to open the door. Damn camera angles. Don't you fuck with me now. Oh, fuck, no. Please, no. Get up on the plat- It's- it's not letting me do it! Hear the anxiety in my voice, guys. It scared the shit out of me. Whew. Okay. First and foremost, get that health drink. Gemini Semini sends in two dollars. Thanks so much, dude. Was watching the Dark Horse podcast. What did I miss? Uh, you you missed me getting run over by a train twice, and the fact that subways are labyrinths that I can't make any sense of. Yeah, I was mashing the uh, shit out of that A button. I wasn't sure. I don't know why it didn't work the first time. <sighs> there is a way to get on this thing, right? Do we just have to go through here and... <sighs> okay. Get juked. Where is the door? Um, wait, hold on a second. Um, the two heads will pop a judge, jump back on the train can be heard, jump on, and a cutscene will 
play showing a train stop. Walk all the way to the western end of platform three to find the opening to the train. Okay. Gotcha. So we are heading west, right? Yeah. So we just got to get over there somehow. Do we just go up these stairs and then back down? Yeah, subways fucking suck, dude. Yeah. I, like I was saying before, I can't even make sense of them when I'm playing Persona 5. Which I have been playing. Um, I need to get back into playing it, though, because um, I was trying to finish Final Fantasy X uh, first. But now that I am, I should have time. The train is full of cancers and sperm, guys. Best avoid them because the next area is the sewers. Okay, cool. Thanks, man. Or woman. Et quand il arrivait, la foule s'est criée, arriva Gigi Lamoroso. Hey, I know what that song's from. Or those lyrics are from. Okay. <sighs> We're out of the fucking subway. Thank you, Jeebus. First and foremost, save. All right. While I'm doing that, I'm just gonna get my sip on. When I went to, oh, thank you, Jim, and I, again. Um, when I went to New York in real life, I couldn't figure out the subway, so don't feel bad, my dude. Thanks, man. Man, just my dream, my lifelong, so here's the thing. My lifelong dream is to live in Paris, right? It's a beautiful city. The last time I went there was in 2010, though. I don't know how much has changed since then. Let me get OBS out of the way. Um... But being able to traverse that city is all contingent on using the metro, which is the subway. I'm not sure how well I would uh, how well I would manage that. Okay, so you said we have to dodge the the sperm walkers, is, or is that what I called them, sperm walkers? Can't remember. Nothing in here, right? Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. No, please, no. Fucking hell, just get the fuck... Wait, no, she's looking at shit. Fuck it, I don't want it that bad. Hmm. Yeah, don't want to go back out that way. And, uh, how's my health? Oh, we're okay. Wait a minute, the beef jerky. Oh, I'm not supposed to eat it, it's for the dogs. Damn it. I could have used that. Whatever. Okay, what did you say, Calypso? Hold on, let me get OBS out of the way. Okay, Max, practique le français et quand j'irai vivre en Sicile, tu iras me visiter. Ah oui, je voudrais te visiter en Sicile, mademoiselle. Je voudrais visiter Italy. Um. Bonjour, bonjour. Um. Oh, there's. Okay, so. Do I have to kill this thing? I, I think I have to, right? Because he's blocking the way. Uh. Yeah, I got 18 shells. Fuck it. Alright, let's go, Big Papa. No, they- Oh, shit! Okay, I know these guys apparently, like, do, like, heavy damage to you, so I'm just gonna do that. And... Put that on, because I'm hella paranoid. Oh my god! Back that up! Get worked, fucker. Sumo wrestling looking ass. Oh. There we go. Yeah, he did. <sighs> that wasn't too bad. Um, reload this, though. Cool. <laughs> Kick him in the dick. Um, let's grab what's on the floor. Don't lie, this is just a boomer from Left 4 Dead. Yeah, that too. It's a game I haven't played in a long time. Left for Dead. 
I love that game. I have so many great memories playing that game on the 360 with my buds. Um, uh, one of my all-time favorite... Well, hold on. Let's just let this play. <laughs> Fat bastard exits the chat. Get in my belly! Dr. Evil, I make you a deal, all right? You keep your mojo, you keep your money, and I get your baby. Save point, that's what I like to see. Hmm. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, ribs. Um, yeah, one of my greatest memories playing. You can take that shit off now, Cheryl. Um, or Heather, sorry, not Cheryl yet. Is playing Left 4 Dead, especially Left 4 Dead 2. And one thing that me and my buds like to do to just troll each other is at the very beginning of each round, you know, when you're in the safe, the safe room, there's always one of us that just like to throw the, uh, the, the fucking Molotovs in the safe room just to piss everybody off. But then after a while, you know, we we weren't even pissed off. It was just it was just funny every time. So memories, memories. Max, can we hear an Irish accent from you? Uh, I, I can only do an Irish accent when I'm quoting the movie In Bruges. So, um... Here, I'll do one very quickly when you can hear me and you know, all this metal screeching isn't going on. And I don't have a map of the area. Great. Yeah, so here's my favorite line from In Bruges. What am I trying to say? Use a bunch of fucking elephants. No. Yeah, that door better be open. Um, save your ammo, knock them down, and walk past them. They're not worth it. Yeah, well, it's Silent Hill. I know. Ooh, a mace or a mall. Um, whatever, close enough. What? I want to see what's inside there. Or whatever, I don't care. Um, what you looking at? Nice. Anything else in here that's worth our attention? Okay, Loki, I need a map. Oh my god, they've gotten bigger. Oh shit. No! I don't want it! This isn't the 50s, asshole. All right. Um, all right. And somebody said that Mike Myers would be proud of my fat bastard impression. Yeah. One thing you guys got to know about me is that I know all three Austin Powers movies inside and out. Like, I could recite them backwards and forwards. They're my lifeblood. Oh, shit. Oh, good. Like, every door is open. Like, this isn't gonna fucking confuse me. <sighs> I keep thinking that I can read that. Well, if worse comes to worse, I'll just go back to the guide. It's fine. I only used the guide last time because, uh, yeah, well, you know. You can only go so far until you get lost. I don't remember... The environments in Silent Hill 2 weren't this bland or boring. Like I'm just running around. Nothing in there. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Get juked. Like I'm just I'm wandering around. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, the room's gotten bigger. Great. Um So uh map anybody? Yeah, so uh, I'm guessing we have to come back to this room whenever we got something to open that hatch. 
No. No, I'm 17. I'm too young to be pregnant. Or too old, if you're going by MTV standards. One hundred million dollars. Okay. Okay, save point. Cool. Oh, well, actually, Claudio, I agree with you. Wayne's World is actually my all-time favorite comedy. I, I just happen... And I actually can also quote the shit out of Wayne's World. A gun rack? A gun rack. Sure, right. I don't even own a gun, let alone many guns that would necessitate an entire rack. What am I going to do with a gun rack? This room's got the hookup, though. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, so I guess we just got to find some kerosene. This is a trap room. Get out. There's nothing in there, Max. Wait, what? What are you talking about? This is a trap room? Is the trap room the one with, like, it's asking me for kerosene? Is this what you're talking about? Let me know, man. Gotta stop bringing up OBS. All right. Party time. Excellent. Woo, 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 woo. Fuck it, let's go this way. You have to find beer bottles where you'll fill them with kerosene. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Wait, what did she say? What kind of machine is this? It looks like it doesn't work anymore. Yeah, well, not a whole lot of shit works in the other world. If Are we even there? I don't know. The hole's full of dirty water. I can't go down there like that. I don't know. I mean, a lot of video games have super sections. Looks like a hoist on off switch. Wait, throw the switch. Nothing happened. Nothing. Okay. Mm. Okay, it's the one with the. Oh my god. Please, God, no. Will he, like, turn away if I do this? Emerald Queen says, How much longer are you planning to stream? Uh, maybe about 15 more minutes. Uh, maybe 20. Uh, actually, guys, if you don't mind, I just need to use the bathroom one more time. I have a really weak bladder. Um, <laughs> clearly. Uh, just bear with me. Uh, I'm going to put the music back on and I'll be right back. And then we'll probably go until like uh, closer to 6.30, okay? All right. Be right back. All right, sorry about that. We're good to go. Okay, shut up. Um, get rid of that. Get rid of OBS. All right, let me just read the chat here for a second. Donation train time, everyone. Aw. Now, you guys, you've been very generous today. I really, really appreciate it. It's especially appreciated because um, I'm going to... There are things happening in my life that it's looking like I'm probably going to have to leave my current job because I am going to need to move. And in order to, you know, do my finances, I might have to bite the bullet and actually set up a Patreon. I'm not happy about it, but I don't know what else to do. 
and you sending me in these donations is really it's I, i'm so grateful I assume me. Hi, Max. I very much enjoyed your latest Silent Hill video. Have you ever given thought to Ernest being a manifestation of James's superego? Yeah. Well, I mean, oh, you saw me. Did you watch the um, Did you watch the video that I just put out uh, called Silent Hill Mythology? Who wrote the messages? Because I literally. Well, I hold on a second. Get the fuck out of my way! Nobody likes you. You're a walking sperm. Oh. Okay. I think I just bit a hole in my underwear. Um, yeah, I literally say in that video that I think Ernest would be James's conscience, and you know, the conscience is pretty much yeah, it can be uh, switched or interchanged with uh, the Freudian superego, right? Because it's the superego that we all aspire to. It's what directs our actions. It's what we want to be, and the conscience is sort of what judges us, right? Okay, um, let me read Sweet Pigment's comment. I think, not sure though, not sure though, the sewers are confusing. You'll have to go where you found the mace and then walk straight ahead. I think you'll find a door and then a hall and then a box of bottles. So hold on a second. Let me look at the guide. Uh, it's the mall to the left. Oh, I fucking, really? So I literally walked right past the map. Oh shit, I forgot the be right back thing again. My bad. Yep. Sorry. I literally told myself... <laughs> I literally told myself when I left that I wasn't going to forget that. But that just goes to show how terrible my memory is. I'd go to the bathroom for one minute, come back, and completely forget. Yeah, I think we got to go back to where the uh, where we got the mall. I'm not even sure if I'm going the right way. Um, is it this way? Fuck. Why is it so dark and dry? Only one of these bottles is empty. Oh, okay, so we gotta fill that up with the kerosene, right? Got that beef jerky. Nice. Meh sends in... I don't know what currency that is, but he sends in 100 of it. Thank you so much, dude. Uh, again, like I said, it's, it's appreciated more than you know. Cash when guns close. This is the way your balls roll. Yeah, I don't think I came from here. But I'm glad I came here because I'm getting the hookup. Don't you jump at me. No fertilization is happening to me today. <laughs> yeah, you missed two epic moments of me getting owned, CK. Oh my god. Joe. I'm sorry guys, just give me a second. <sighs> Joe, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Joe Rogers sends in $100. That's amazing. Sorry, guys. Um... <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Um... I'm okay. That was very... Un... It was very unexpected. Sorry. Okay. Look 
Okay, 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 okay. Focus, Max, focus. All right, now we know where we need to go. Um, so... Joe, you are the man. Uh, Joe, I really hope that, you know, you can afford to do that. Um, and that, you know... Because I know, like, how times are right now, and... I just want to make sure that you're taking care of yourself first, right? So... Please. Please tell me that you're okay, and... That, you know, <laughs> you're, you're careful with your money. Um, okay, so, can I go that way? Uh, I wanna see what's down there first though. Okay, so let's go first door on the left. Whoa, you hear that? It's not like somebody stepped on a, a baby or something. Um, yeah, the game does have incredible sound design. That's because of my boy Akira Yamaoka. Thank you very much. Um, how do we get over there? Oh, shit. I went the wrong... And Ben Vogel sends in a $2... Two, what is that, Romanian? I don't know. Thank you so much. Uh, Tara Woodman C says, how does one donate? Um, if you look at the bottom of the live chat, you'll see a dollar sign. If you click on that, um, it'll give you the option to do a super chat. You, you might have to do this thing where you have to input your credit card, but yeah, that, that's how you do it. Um, yeah, so do I want to go back there? L fuck it. Let's just go up to the one on the left and see what's up there real quick. You deserve the world, Max. Thank you for bringing all these. Thanks, man. And thank you so much. Like, I know you've been here since, like, the very beginning of the stream. Thank you so much for hanging out all the way through it. Especially when I was fucking up. Uh, so I can't go up there. Um, I don't really want to go back there yet. So I think we have to go all the way back around. Okay. Okie dokie. Yeah, Joe just dropped the bomb and fuck everything. Yeah, that's literally where my heart was there for a second. It's like, am I gonna... Keep my composure? Uh, so we gotta go up and then to the right. And Penji Hodge, thank you so much for that one dollar ninety nine. What one dollar? One euro, right? No, that's pound. One, two pounds. Thank you. Uh, I need to do that. I know where I'm going. I can't believe how awesome you guys. This has been an amazing stream. Even if it was briefly frustrating. Uh, X says, oh, by the way, Max, long time lurker. Enjoy your videos and my work. Thanks, man. And I, you know, I look forward to making more and more videos for you guys way, well into the future. Because I have, honestly, the best audience in the world. You guys are some of the most intelligent, empathetic, patient people. I love you all dearly. And I sincerely mean that. And I hope that... You know, even though I'm not happy about having to set up a Patreon, maybe doing that will be able to help me expand uh, the channel in ways that I've been dreaming of and, you know, get people more involved with, like, community projects. That'd be cool. Like, which way am I supposed to be facing? Okay, let's go back. And then, uh, you know, just the whole point of this channel is not only to do video game stuff, but also to try and make the world a better place for people who are differently wired, right? And uh, I've got ideas on how I can do that. And Leo Borg sends in 20 sex. I like them sex. Thanks for the great videos. Thank you for watching them, brother. And I hope I can continue to uh, make videos that merit such generosity. Did we 
literally just go around in a fucking circle? Oh, no, no. There's still more we can look for. Speaking of OSTs, the one who made Jet Set Radios is making one for a similar game. Ooh. Yeah, I've never actually played Jet Set Radio or Jet Set Radio Future, but I will say I have listened to the soundtracks and they're bomb. They're great. Hello, Allison. I want to hold your hand. I've never been the same man since I saw you coming in. Let's have a toast to the girl in aisle 10. I see you about a quarter after nine. And then neon signs, where are you from? You came like an angel into my... I don't know the words. Fuck. All right. I just have to go in the other way. Don't you... S Oh yeah, that's right. The demo does come out tomorrow, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll have to check that out. Don't you touch me. Uh, right. Right. Swedish Kronor. I know, but it sounds be like sex sounds better, doesn't it? Um. Kronor. Swedish Kronor. Oh, and by the way, God bless the Swedes. One of my best friends uh, originates from Sweden. Her name's Emmy. It's on me tonight. Hey, sacred pain. You got the hookup for me, dog. Thanks for sending me that email. Now you're sending me in $25. Thanks, Brosif. And nice, uh, nice avatar there, too. All right, so we can't. Where are we supposed to be going? We, we got the bottle. Oh, are we supposed to fill up the bottle by going into where the safe room is and then going into the room beside it? I think that's what we're supposed to do. Okay. <sighs> I don't always drink, but when I do, I prefer Dos Equis. Okay, so where are we going? Cortic. Oh my God. It, it, it. Thank you. Oh shit. Corner Ghost. I always love your streams, Mike Keast. Hey Max, you deserve all this. I hope your I love your videos. I'm glad I can support you. I can't even talk because I'm so happy. I hope you'll do another Silent Hill three stream. Really enjoyed it. I definitely will. I definitely will. <sighs> I love you guys. Uh, I don't want to answer the question on pineapple on pizza because somebody might revoke <laughs> might revoke their uh, their super chat. No, I'm kidding. Um, I've never actually had pineapple on pizza, so I can't offer an opinion. And then people might say, "Well, it's self evidently gross." Sorry. Um, sorry, just give me one second, guys. Um, gonna be quiet for a second guys okay
Um, Tara Woodmancy sends in $200 and says, not trying to one-up at all, I swear. As a high school teacher that follows your channel, is trying to make a video game English curriculum. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm in a position to donate. I want to help if you're in a tight spot. Keep doing you, man. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I um, uh, that's just it's uh, you're it's so nice. I I'm so blessed to have you all here right now. You know, when you're on, you know, I'm sure the people in the audience will understand this, you know, people who have uh, autism or mental health problems. Um, it can be kind of hard uh, emotionally finding work, maintaining work. You know, I've been lucky in that regard because I'm up until now I've been able to maintain couple jobs but you know things are pretty scary at the moment um with the way that my life is sort of transitioning and i wasn't expecting you guys to donate like i, I know you guys send in super chats now and then but i just wasn't expecting this and I hope that I never do anything to let you guys down. And if I ever do, you know, please forgive me. I will do everything that I can to remedy anything like that. God forbid if I ever do make a misstep. So um, just very quickly, uh, let me see if I can fill up the kerosene. I think I'm supposed to do that here. <sighs> um, okay. I don't want to fill the wine bottle. And then I'm just going to go see if I can fill up the thing on the other room. And if I can, then I come come back here, save, and then I'm going to quit because i got to go for dinner in a second, okay? Uh, very quickly, free fall sends in two pounds. Great content, men. Hope you're doing all right. I am... I'm doing great. <laughs> and then David, Nick Nicholson sends in five euro. Take it easy, man. It's all good. And God bless you, Nick. You've been around since like, you're an OG around here. You're the man. You know, if you ever need anything from me, just holler, okay? And David Brahmi sends in five euro say, saying, thanks again for the Ion series, Silent Hill videos and making me rediscover Jordan Peterson. Plus Rico Haunting Ground PS2. Here, I'll make a note of that so I can look it up later, okay? Oh, shit. Uh, Rico Haunting Ground PS2. Done. Okay. I'll make sure to check that out, okay? I love you guys. All right, let's just go run past the sperm whale. Uh, Sperm. See, guys, this is what happens when you're born seven months premature. Uh, and the sperm hasn't had a chance to start transforming into a fucking baby yet. It's back when you still have your tail. <laughs> um, right, can't go down there yet, so we gotta put it in here, right? I keep messing up still. Um, kerosene in the fuel tank. Okay. Ta uh, by the way, Tara, if you're still listening, please, like, I, I'm totally fascinated about what you're doing with the English curriculum uh, that centers around video games. 
it's something that I've always wanted to do, right? It's sort of my dream to teach video games in a university type setting. So if you could email me like about sort of the stuff that you're doing, please do. Here I'll uh, put my email in the uh, in the chat real quick, okay? So if you're still listening, please. Uh, Yes, like, tell me all about that. I'm very curious. Mario Diaz sends in uh, 200, I'm guessing those are Mexican dollars? Yeah. As a junior academic, I do appreciate the academic treatment you've given to Silent Hill. Thanks a lot, Max. Thanks, man. And uh, I intend to give the academic treatment to many more games in the near future, including Final Fantasy X, which will be out either on Monday, uh, aiming for Monday, but will definitely be out on Tuesday, if not on Monday. All right. And then, hold on, Phil, I'm going to read yours in a second. I'm just going to go back to the save room. And then we're going to end the stream. Because I, like, I mean, I would go longer, especially because you guys have been so kind and generous. But uh, I actually really do got to go. Okay. And that's it. Went for... Well, I, we didn't actually play for an hour and a half. It was more than that, but we did have to start over a couple times. Okay, so that's it, guys. Here, I'll uh, just play a little bit more of that End of Small Sanctuary before I tune out. Um, thank you, guys, honestly. I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. Like, I don't, I often like to, I, I don't give myself credit for a lot of stuff, but I do give myself credit for, like, I think, I like to think that I'm a good writer and a good communicator, but I don't have the words to communicate to you guys um, how appreciative I am of what you've given me today. I will, as long as you guys keep supporting me like this, I will continue to do whatever I can to make a better world for people on the autism spectrum and people with mental health problems. And also, obviously, to get video games treated with the respect that they deserve, right? And, you know, I have my own ideas about how to move forward in both those respects, video games and mental health. Um, I'm always curious to hear what ideas you guys have. There's a feedback channel on my Discord if you want to put your thoughts there um you could also email me like i put my email in the chat there if you just scroll up a bit you'll see it and before i forget phil from the abyss sends in the five dollar dollar sorry five euro super chat says thanks for all your content i'm coming i'm gonna have my autism assessment coming up in a couple of weeks your content helped me make that step that's awesome dude and I really hope that when you get that assessment, it gives you the validity that you've sought for most of your life. And it will help you get the supports that you need. And, uh, you know, if you need any support between now and then or any other time in the future, make sure to join the Discord community because there's always tons of people that are like-minded that you'll find there. And I've gotten tons of messages from people there that said they've made great friends. People, you know that are like them, that have autism or mental health problems and they can just talk to and hang out with. All right, so I'm just gonna read a couple more of your messages and then I gotta go right at 6.30, okay? Um, Max, you're a cool guy, stay safe, thanks D-Iron. Just discovered your channel today and the only thing I gotta say is I support your channel 100%. Thanks, Ray Demis, Larry. And, uh, I hope uh, I can continue to uh, keep you interested. Awesome stream, Max. Have a nice week. Thanks, Sir Moody. Thanks, David Bremmy. See you, Joe Rogers. Thank you. You're the man, man. Bro fist. Um, Lucas Fox says, hey, Max Derrett, thank you for your Silent Hill and Metal Gear videos. You make us think we need that. Yes, we do. <laughs> Me more critical thinking and video games are a great way to encourage people to do that. Um, Sweet Pigment, good night, Max. Good night, everyone. Yeah, good night, Sweet Pigment, and thank you so much for all your help. I really, I hope to see you at the next stream, okay? Uh, yep, take care, Bixnood. See you, Corner Ghost. 
Keep your head up, Max. Your content is awesome as always. Thank you, Mang... Mang... M Instinct. <laughs> Sorry. No, don't go 24-hour stream. No, I don't have the stamina for that. Maybe one day, though. Uh, I really love your content. Thanks, Matafraska. Uh, I don't know how to say your name. It's written in Russian, but thank you. Back. <laughs> and uh, it's a work in progress. I'm still trying to wrap my head around an overall structure. However, my principal has preemptively greenlit the project. Nice. Nice. And yeah, please keep me... I. Like, I'd love to speak to more academics about this very concept. I think that a lot can be done in terms of getting more kids interested in education by introducing video games somehow. Because, look, if there are millions of people across the globe that are dedicating as much time as they do into investigating Dark Souls lore or Bloodborne lore, and we can transfer that energy into academics... Who knows what we can do for the future generation, right? And they won't even realize that they're learning. Like, you teach about alchemy and hermeticism and the occult. Well, maybe not the occult. <laughs> uh, but teach about that in an academic setting and use games to do that and make people enthusiastic. There is something there, and I truly believe it. And I'm glad that you think so as well, Tara. All right, it's 6.30, guys. I got to go. Thank you so much. Uh, expect that Final Fantasy video, like I said a million times already, on Monday and uh, another video. Oh, oh, and a mental health stream on Wednesday, this coming Wednesday. It'll be at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be doing it with John Tucker. And then, yeah, there'll obviously be more videos after that. I'm going to go try and eat, although I don't know. I'm feeling so emotional that I got butterflies in my stomach. Anyways, thank you so much, guys. Until